Hi, my name is Marco Cantu. Welcome to this introduction to FARDAC, the new data access technology that Mercadero is introducing for Delphi and C++ Builder. I'm the Delphi product manager at Embarcadero Technologies and again I'm going to offer you a short introduction to FireDAC, the Embarcadero edition of AnyDAC, the component set for universal data access that we recently bought from DASoft and we also have an agreement with Dimitri Arafiev, the original developer, to keep working on these components for, for us and further enhance them in the future. So FireDAC is a data access technology fine-tuned for many specific relational databases but universal in nature so you can have the same component set throughout the servers you want to support. At the same time it has all the high performance enterprise quality connectivity and support for many specific features that are not common throughout all databases. So it's universal in nature but very specific feature wise for individual databases and database vendors. Some of the key features are a data access engine that's made of a bunch of foundation classes plus some ready-to-use data set components. The foundation classes work more or less like the internal DB Express classes or the .NET data access classes, while the data set has full in-memory data set support, unlike the DB Express ones. It's meant for high performance data access. It's not just a marketing slogan. It has specific features for that, like live data window for browsing tables and another example is array data manipulation language to reduce the number of commands sent to the server and increase the throughput significantly. It's a unified API for many areas of the database management like errors, transactions, scripting and more. There are native drivers for many different servers and also gateways through ODBC and DB Express libraries. But again, the native list is rather large, it's going from huge databases like Oracle and DB2 to very specific ones like Advantage, Interbase, Postgres, and so on. So at the high level, this is kind of an overview slide. It has the higher level database controls and non-visual controls, local storage, adapters, and then the physical drivers. The physical drivers, differently from the DB Express, where these drivers are based on external DLLs, the native drivers are written in Pascal so they can be compiled into your Delphi or C++ Builder application. You will need external drivers for DB Express or ODBC um, bridge. So these are some of the core components, connection, transaction, there is a memory table, you can populate directly or fetch data from a physical table physical data set. Uh, there is a query, store procedure, table scripts, and many, many other, including specific ones like backup, restore features, and so on. But let's get started with building a very simple demo with a connection and a query. So let's move to <clears throat> Delphi. I'll first need a connection component. In the connection, I can pick the driver out of the list of available ones. For now, I'm going to stick with Interbase. And then what I have to do is to fit in the parameters. A simple way of doing it is grab this set of values that I 
ready here get back into the parameters and just post those here this should be enough and we can try to connect to the database enter credentials of course we can disable the login prompt so we don't have to enter the credentials so we can actually connect to interbase with this connection component so next step we'll just grab a query and it automatically hooks to the connection, so we don't have to do that step manually. And we need to provide some SQL, like select star from employee, not really a new one. And we can try to open it, and it seems to be working. Now to be sure, we need to drop in a data source, hook it to the query. Notice that the query embeds a data cache so we don't we can use the client data set but we don't have to use it and we can also use the fardac in memory data set as an alternative as we'll see later on so here i need one more component which is a grid let's drop a grid connect the grid to the data source and we are in business so this is a very simple app but built really literally in seconds by hooking together components in a way that's more similar to the BDE approach than the DP Express one. What if we want to deploy this? We also need the physical driver. So we need to hook another component, which is the physical interface driver. This will just bring in the proper units and we also need a weight cursor for the application. We need a reference to the cursor to be shown when we are waiting for the database to perform. With these settings, we can save the application. Unit 8 and Project 9 sound very good and run it standalone. And now we have our application up and running. And let's just Nelson me. Let's do some change and see even here the data is sent immediately back to the server because we are not using cached updates but actually even in that case when the application terminates the updates are by default automatically sent to the server okay so that's really the starting point demo to prove that we do have built-in database a built-in data set uh, in memory, I can actually show you another version of this same example. It's very similar code, but it has uh, in the grid an untitled click, click event handler, like you can do with the client data set. We'll just grab the fill name and populate it. And this is going to act in the, on the in-memory data, not going to fetch from the database once more, we'll just sort the in-memory data set. Okay, this also has the apply updates uh, feature in case we turn on cached updates. So let's focus, let's go back to the actual demo and get some extra glimpses because what I've done configuring the application was actually extremely error prone and trivial because for example, I haven't used the connection editor. Connection editor lets you customize the various options, provide a database file, parameters, decide which ones you want. You can also test the connection right from here. You can pick an existing definition if you already have some in your um, configuration file, the ini file, where you can configure the various drivers. Also, there is a huge number of options from data mapping to fetching options to locking, refreshing, and really many other features that you can use to fine tune the connection. And this will be applied to each and every data set using that connection. But some of these settings can be overridden at the 
data set at the individual data set level. We can also access to information about the connection, for example, get the, the client library link and check other parameters. And also use this window directly to run a script, an SQL statement. Right into this uh, connection editor. So again, there is much more in terms of customization that the first demo showed. Same for the query. It is true that we can simply type in the SQL statement, but we have a full a full query editor where you can actually write the information, execute the query, get the metadata, and check the parameters mapping. Again, you can change the data type mapping for this specific uh, data set along with other options. We can get the result set, get if there is any information back from the server. In case of a parametric query, which would be my next demo, In case of a parametric query, you can also get to the list of the parameters and customize them and again execute against a specific value so you can get to see the actual query result with the parameters again right away in the query editor. There are a couple of more features here. There is a um, file connection so you can actually customize a file where you want to have a logging, uh, the logging of the various operations that are being performed. If you want to do that, you also need to set, this with the query editor, the set the parameter in the connection settings. As I was mentioning, there are really, really many options fetch options, formatting options, update options. It's extremely flexible. You can customize the connection, so the same data set, hooking to different connections because of different database vendors will behave differently. Or you can have the individual data set with specific setting, regardless of the connection it is hooked to. Data type mapping can be done visually and can be done in code. You can determine how many rows to return by fetch operations. When there is a large record set, this can speed up things considerably, specifically for on a slow network or low latency network. The memory table is a very sophisticated component. It's very fast. It's kind of like the client data set. In, in, in the way it behaves. The query has caching support, but at times you want to grab the information and move it to a full-blown in-memory table, and you can do it, for example, with code like this, execute a statement, open it, fetch the data, and just assign the, date, the data of the query component to the in-memory table. This will make it persistent. So if we reuse the query for something else, now we can refer to the data in this to memory table objects and keep them around and process them as we like. Nothing prevents us, though, to connect a client data set to a provider and connect the provider to the query and just use it and write code that is more similar to the DB Express plus client data set model. If you already have a lot of code built around client data set, that would make it, would make it an easier transition, uh, at least uh, 
uh, as a temporary solution, although you might want to go to using the full uh, in-memory data set. There are tons of other options that I will just glance through. Data manipulation language, asynchronous execution. So you, if a query is slow, the, you won't block the user interface. SQL processing with escape functions, conditional statements, macro substitution, scripting. The editing, the update statements are generated in a very sophisticated way with a bunch of options you can use to control it. You can add an update SQL component to your query to have it a completely custom update code. But this is kind of a rare option. Most cases, you can go for the SQL commands that are generated by the engine. And they are different for different database targets. There is support for auto in increments. There is support for identity. There is support for generators. Um, again, a lot of flexibility, the ability to hook to the record ID and not just to the logical records or low level low-level hook to the record ID, like on, on Oracle. And there is more. I mean, really more than I can introduce in this very short session. Again, in-memory data set, offline connection, transaction support with multiple transaction support. In the query, you can specify an update transaction, for example, that's different from the read transaction. Direct components for backup and restore on multiple database servers connection pooling, and, and everything can be yours right away. It's included in the enterprise editions of Delphi, C++ Builder, and Brad Studio. So it's available for existing customers, not just new ones. Or it's an add-on you can buy if you, are, if you own an XC3 professional edition of one of the products. It's a set of universal data access components again, high performance, easy to use, enterprise connectivity. We're going to support them, empower them, bring them to the mobile platform and make them centerpiece of the Delphi and C++ Builder data access architectures.